This is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Now at 6, pepper spray flies as Trump supporters and protesters clash outside Anaheim City Hall. Plus, hitting the campaign trail hard, polls have closed in five states, the latest on the race for the White House. And his sister says Prince didn't have a will. Should you? The steps you need to take to protect your family. I'm Paul Majors. And hello, I'm Pat Harvey. Politics tops the 6 o'clock hour. Donald Trump has swept all five Republican primaries tonight. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, pro and anti-Trump supporters squared off in Anaheim, and it got ugly. CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili is there. Michelle. Pat, we saw people hit with pepper spray. We heard the rat-a-tat-tat -tat of a stun gun out here. Pro and anti-Trump demonstrators. They were loud. They were angry. Even children were injured. And ironically, this was all happening in a place that is called Friendship Plaza. That's right, because it's <laughs> Tears and disbelief at a Donald Trump rally when two young girls, their grandmother and another man, were hit with pepper spray as the pro Trump supporters and anti Trump group got into a heated exchange in front of Anaheim City Hall. There was yelling, profanity, and then jostling as both sides argued. You have destroyed the black community with your hate! That brought out police in tactical helmets. This cell phone video appears to show a protester activating a stun gun in the crowd. He sprayed me in the face, uh, and uh, then at the same time I was backing away, he sprayed that little girl at the same time. I know what he looks like. We got a picture of him, and we're going to prosecute him. We're going to file charges against it for assault and battery, not only on me, but on that little girl. Now, that fracas happened on the lawn right behind me here, right before the council chamber doors opened. The council meeting is underway now. The resolution will be voted on at some point tonight, although the city staffers think it'll be around 8 or 9 o'clock. Again, a resolution condemning the divisive rhetoric that they say that Donald Trump is using in this national campaign. That's the latest live here in Anaheim. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.